Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Victor Allen's new news sport, the recurring segment of the Morning Coffee with Mario show. Written and directed by the bald-headed black man, the man the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. Rub his head and make a wish. Victor Allen, his unique fan-based Neo Urban view of sports, dressed appropriately. Sports bras and jock straps, that's everybody we want you confused. Yeah. yeah! Now you get to relax a little bit, right? Yes, I do. I know, you, you're waiting. Just for a bit. Just a bit, right? Hey, look, uh, how can I say this? We're going to hit a little bit of the uh, it's Dodger time, and here we go again. It's three to charm. We're going to also hit, of course, AB. Yeah, he's coming around with escalating records while not even being on the field of play, if you know who AB is in Antonio Brown. I also, hey, the big three running backs, the difference between last year's production and this year, and do they really make a difference? But the most important subject, celebrity spar- sports fans. Celebrities. How do they relate to super fan versus brand? Now, w- somebody's going to say what's more important. Brand fan, you all, everybody's working around the brand. You know, it's a, here's the brand. It's like the cheerleaders and everything. <laughs> okay, it's like the cheerleaders. All right, super fan goes. I walk in. I'm not only the brand. I wear the brand. I demonstrate and I activate the brand. Some people are celebrities who coattail what they go. I'm just here. Now, is that a super fan or is that just celebrity moments, especially when your team is losing throughout the year and they have to find something to keep your eyeballs attached to it? We're going to go through a few of them, Mario, based on what you've been able to see. And if you have it, that tells you maybe they're not a super fan. And we're going to determine the ones that we believe. Oh, no, that's a super fan. Extreme. Call it what you like. You ready for this, man? I am. All right, because this is, this, this is interesting because... Everybody thinks of one or two people. Well, I want, I want to start off, and then I want to see if it's relatable to a winning or organization. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start at the top, Mario. We're going to start off with one of your favorite teams. You, you a Steeler fan, man? <laughs> you a Steeler fan, man? You, you a Steeler fan, man? Okay. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> More or less, right? You caught him, you caught him, but you're a tweener right now, right? Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm not a big fan, but... I, they're not Dallas or New England. Okay. All right. Here we go. Steelers. Wiz Khalifa. Straight, black, and yellow. And if you don't know, he wears the black and yellow. Is this, is, is this representat- the representation of him a super fan or a brand fan? He's a super fan. He's a super fan, isn't he? There's no joke. Yeah. He's got music wrapped around no. his... Straight. Yeah, they bought in. <laughs> He's done, right? He's caught up. Now, here's the fandom. Qu- right. Now, here's the thing. Will he be a super fan in the losing season? I think he will. We're straight. Holds it down. I think he has been, and, and he's not so winning other seasons. Hey, yeah. has, when has the Steelers had a losing season? Well, not necessarily losing, but certainly, let's say, disappointing season. Absolutely. And they're going through that right now, but yeah. he's straight up, man. He's straight up. Ready to go to the next man? Uh huh. Well, let's go to the next one. You can sit back. Ooh, man. Man, man, man. This is one of Mario's favorite actors. You like this cat, huh? Don't you? Yes, Bradley Cooper. You like this cat. I don't enjoy you? his movies and the, the characters he has portrayed. Yes, okay. Now, Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I'm going to say this. How much have you seen him when the Philadelphia Eagles play? And there is the demonstration. Because I'm going to say this. I know nobody's going to like this, Mario. I think sitting in the celebrity CEO booth is not a super fan. I just think, like, play a player. <laughs> you know, I get to sit with the chief, the owner. Does that make him a, a brand fan? Does that make him a super fan? Or is he just straight out a fan? No, I think he's a super fan. You think that's he's? His, you know, because he's that's his area too. Okay. See, yes. for a lot of them, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's where you grew up. True. And so when they have these moments, they get away from all the new shit, right? Right. And you can have that moment of getting back to your old shit. I can appreciate it, you know what I'm saying, in its simplest form. 
All right. You could get away from today. And and this is his escape. getaway. Yeah, that's what I think. I think yeah. that's his getaway. He he he's in. Yeah. He blends right in. Yeah, he wants to be that. I don't blame him because I I can appreciate it. Okay. All right. Just so you so you know, Mario, when we finish this up, we're gonna go to count down. We're gonna eliminate four, and then we're gonna go to two, and we're gonna say who's the number one. Okay. All right. Ready for that? All right. All right. Let's go to the next. Oh man, just just watching this, is he a super fan or he's a brand fan? Look what he's doing. He's telling the basketball players, get up, get energy. Does he look like a coach? <laughs> right. Now, let's just say sure this, Mario. Does, let's, he? let's just say this, Mario. I wonder if that's just a role in a movie, man. Did he pull it? it should we count that? No, he's I, Matthew McConaughey is kind of known for being eccentrically committed to certain ideals and principles. Right. So I think he's definitely caught up as a super fan. Yeah. So far so so far we got super fan. He definitely and let me tell you what's so hard about it, man. When you're talking about a football super fan, it is harder to identify you because you're in stadiums. It's not like being in a basket you know, basketball stadium where you can really everybody can see the celebrity walk in and they can see him. Whereas on the field it's kind of hard, and the person get lost. He gets known, and he's dead serious, man. Oh yeah, super fan, easy. All right, gonna take you, gonna take you to the other part of California, man. You know, if I say E40, Golden State Warriors, he's wearing it. He's wearing it. Is he wearing it? I'm just, I'm he's just wearing it. Is he super fan or is he a brand he, fan? He, I think he's super fan. You think he's super fan? Because he's been there for a while, too. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, some of these guys have been, like I said again, they've been supporting these teams right. for some time. Right. He, he did a whole video thing for them back in the day and some stuff live back in the day. It's so. not what, – what, what do I say? It's not just walking into your seat. He wears the colors, he put it in his product, and he activates it. And so when you see somebody wearing the colors, yeah, he's super fan, man. Easy. Easy. Super fan. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, boy, this going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what you say about L.A. Uh, All right, now this is Jack. You know he's super fan. But see, I'm going to challenge you on something, man. Okay. You ever see Jack wearing Laker colors? No. You ever see Jack doing something special, out of the box? Jack has the worst, <laughs> most bloody wardrobe in the world. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So he doesn't wear any color. He doesn't. That per- well, no, 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 Jack. He's got a Laker purple shirt right there. Yeah, listen, That's about as it's, yeah, much. I'm, no. He doesn't even wear color. He wears the same dirty shit every day. <laughs> now, let me say this. Let me just say this. I'm just saying he does. Does he act like a super fan? He is, yes. How? Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's the most you get to see. That's enough. That's a super fan when you go all twiddly twiddly. <laughs> no, man. But like if you watch, hey, so no, if man. Watch, if you're watching something and you go like twiddly twiddly, <laughs> That's twiddly, not twiddly, it, bro. twiddly twiddly. That's super fan. That's like you're doing. That's Pee-wee. not super fan. You're doing Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> no, it's not super fan, man. Let me say Pee Wee Herman. Ooh, wee wee wee. Okay. Okay. Let's just say this. When we get down to the final four, super fan versus brand fan. You could be with somebody a long time, but if you don't do anything but walk into your seat, and that's about it, I don't know, well, man. I've been a super fan of, I was like a super fan of Luther and Stevie, and I still walked into my seat. Did you dress like Luther with a jerry curl and everything? No, I had, <laughs> actually <laughs> Luther dressed like what I wore to the prom. You did so, so that was like super years fan, earlier. Super fan wear the colors, yeah, wear the hair Stevie, style. you know, he was rocking the, the braids and stuff back there, so... <laughs> What can I say? All right. All right. Well, when we process eliminate. Well, that's Jack. We'll see, man. We'll see. I'm just saying he got 10. Here's Johnny. But it, it's easy when you go, I want the season tickets. He's but, sitting courtside. He's got the big dollars. Right. If I could just get some courtside, Jack, come take Mario to the game. Unbelievable. Buy me a hot dog. Unbelievable, man. All right. Let's go to the next. Ooh. Tra- Travis Scott, man. Houston Rockets. Now, this going to be hard for you, Mario. Think now. I've seen some stuff with Travis. Now, I'm not sure if he's riding the Houston wave right now because in the last, what, five years, they've been 
up there, you know, battling in the playoffs, getting the conference finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, I can't say. Oh, no, yeah, I, yeah. Mm. Super fan or brand fan? He's a super fan. Oh, you gonna give him a super? And fan? you know what's so funny? What Houston needs it. Yes, Houston needs all of this because I don't know if any of y'all been to Houston. <laughs> you know how you gonna? I'm just saying. You will be rushing back. <laughs> Dude. I'm you, just saying. You're going to slam the whole you, city? I like the people in Houston, but it's too hot, too many bugs, worse right, freeways okay. in the world. The people in Houston are wonderful. Right. So it's not a diss on the people in Houston. Okay. It's a diss on the whole city infrastructure. Okay. The place floods like hell. They have the worst freeways in the world, Vic. Worse than ours? Worse than Austin. Remember how Austin was? Yes, I remember. Okay, so worse than that, okay? But we love the people of Houston. They got soul. Okay. All right, man. All right, you got it. So there's no diss to Houston to people, but your freeways suck, okay? okay? (laughs) I'm sorry. And they're going to go like this. So they gonna say yeah, they, they do suck. Yeah, they gonna go like this. Our free Cali's freeways, Southern Cali, are way better. But how come you guys spend more time getting to where you're going? Even though it's ours, because more up. people here. There ain't nobody <laughs> rushing to Houston. <laughs> Shit is flooding every see, week, every I year. Tried to save you, man. Shit is flooding every year. I tried to save you. I'm I'm holding out for Houston. Can they won't even give y'all no benefits? Fourth largest city in America. No bro. benefits. That's all right. Go all on. right, man. Let me go. Let's go to the next man. Next, I don't think I have to even ask this question, right? <laughs> this is is this a no brainer? That's a no brainer. Super fan, right? Oh yes. And he, you pick some good ones today, Vic. Give it up for you, Vic. <laughs> oh man, he is wrong he, button. I mean, he is he is without question. Yeah, he's super fan. He surrounds his whole energy with it. He embodies. He will confront the Toronto. other players. Right. He'll, when I say confront, I don't mean the way you go. Right. But he likes to stand in their face sometimes. So he's there. Which other, I'm not sure if the other super fans do like he does. Well, your next one certainly is known for that. But <laughs> right. yeah, there are some who are do that. Yeah. Right. Let's go to the next one. Some are known. So there are some people who are known for be the most right. irritating. <laughs> Here we go. Spike. Spike has been there through, I would say, the toughest times of a team, and he hasn't budged. He is loyal, loyal, loyal. And I'm going, this is going to be interesting when we break it down to the Final Four. Who are, who's the number one super fan? And I'm going, do you know how long Spike has been trying? <laughs> Try, he represents the voice of New York in basketball as it relates to a fan holding out. Would you hold out that long, Murray? No. Not for a okay. city sports team, no. <laughs> no. I bailed on the Rams so long ago. Right. It was even before they left. <laughs> That's I bailed on the back when they had Roman Gabriel. And everybody's going, who? See, there you go. Okay. So it's how far back. All right, real quick. This is not going to take a long time, Mar. Mar give, me your, give me your four. Just give me your top four super fans. That means automatically. My top four super fans would be Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Drake. Drake. Followed up by Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. And E-40. And E-40. That's right. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go um, definitely uh, Drake and Spike Lee. Uh, don't be shocked. I'm going to go Matthew McConaughey. And, oh, this is going to be a hard one. This is going to be a hard one. Um. All right, I'll go Jack. I'll go Jack. That's my four. You gonna, he's going to go Jack. Yeah, I'm going to go Jack. Take he's the camera with you, but wash your hands. <laughs> right. Now, who's go. number one? Who's your number one? Who my represents number one. Celebrity, two. super fan. I mean, they activate it. They yeah, wear it. Yeah, Spike Lee. Oh, that's the easy one, right? Yeah. That's the easy one. Yeah, I'll For see a long you. time, he's I'll, like right. Nick's. I mean. I, I'm going to say Spike Lee. Drake is coming. Yeah, Drake is coming. coming. Of the He's younger coming. ones. Yeah. Well, that's why Spike has them because Spike's been around longer. That's right. Drake was still like, you know. Right. Work playing with Tonka toys. <laughs> Stop. Like, Stop. So, you know. Stop. Okay. Had that little segment, man. Let's go on to the next one. The next one. We're on that watch, you guys. And the watch is, yes, how can people stay in the news even when they're not playing? At the Antonio Brown watch. Antonio Brown is set to file nine grievances and appeals with the NFL, which is a record. Brown is filing those grievances in an attempt to recoup $61 million he was guaranteed 
and he still feels that he's old by the various teams he played for. Record. Now let's give him a moment because he, I think, he's gonna spend record legal fees. <laughs> Those boys ain't cheap. Right, right. So now let me say one this. grievance can cost you, and he's got now, nine. Let right? me say this. Okay. Let me ask you this. Once he goes and says legal, we can't hear anything from Drew Rosenhaus, right? Because typically what Drew would do is Well, I think Drew's, you know, most of them, at least if they're not attorneys, have legal training, so they're going to tread lightly. Thank you. Thank you. And the likelihood he can get his money off of this. So somebody's telling him something. From what I understand, he's going to be able to get the money that was guaranteed from the Patriots. Patriots, yes. But that's going to probably be it. That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's still $9 million. $9 million. Give me that. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the next. Girly, watch. All right. I can wrap this together with Tampa Bay's record setting offense against the Rams yesterday. They actually scored 55 points, shocking the Rams in their home stadium. Here's the one that gets you Girly, total of 16 yards rushing. Here's my philosophy on this. Never mess a man, with a man's philo- uh, their lifestyle. It's their money. And then longevity and health are more important. But they're still putting him out there. So what I'm wondering is that is he even at 60 or 70% effective? And is still, is it worth it? Or does he have an injury that is like, you will not recover and be the same because you, they're, they're honing in on the Rams and you can see them going like this. Gurley's not the problem. But, Mario, 15, 16 yards output. I watched him even the touchdown where he scores. He scored a couple. Uh, you know, um, just didn't look the same but was still able to do certain things to still beat right. people on average. So there you go. Yeah. There are those players who when they're at 80% or 70% are still better right. than 80% or 70% of the other ones. And that's so. why I wouldn't want to mess with his money. I, I just want him to get the best – based out of the decision. He may get less carries, but when you actually go, well, he's only had a few carries. But he is a touchdown converter, so maybe that's it. When they get down in the red zone, that's where he's more efficient. But that long haul, they're questioning, which I'm not, from last year. They worked him like a horse, but he was, he was productive. Has he still recovered? I'm not sure. All right, that leads me into the top three running backs as it relates to those teams that were really – playoff contenders last year and now the effect of what has happened a year later when you look at Saquon Barkley he's already injured he's out can't be a work horse and I hope they think about how to approach it of course Ezekiel Elliott he's probably one of the um, uh, top producers at this time and and maybe a limited role but not necessarily at the level he was last year and we just talked about Gurley so so far on the rushing depth charts as it relates to production I can say this, Ezekiel Elliott right now is seventh in the league. He has 324 yards, and he averages 4.4 average yards and three TDs. Saquon only had three games. He's 237 yards, 6.4 average, one TD scored. And Todd, you already know, he's 20th in the league after four games, 219 yards, 4.6 average, three TDs. Wow. We're seeing a shift, and then now the question becomes, Dallas was producing but until they ran into the Saints. Saquon, I think the New York Giants are feeling way more optimistic because their quarterback is delivering and they don't have Saquon. The Rams are hurting. Here's my question, Mario. Who's more likely of these three to rebound and have a very productive, if any of these teams get in the playoffs, if you had to pick a team that, that the, a running back is going to be productive in the playoffs. And New York Giants are not kind of – they're not looking at the Giants of making the playoffs, but they could now because they're on the positive end. Who would you put your fantasy money under? Oh, on, on Elliott. He's not hurt. He's not hurt, right? Everybody yeah. else is hurt. Yeah. So and, Elliott, it serves, you know, on a good team with a good line, a good philosophy, good balance. Right. Emerging quarterback – Merging receiving core. Right. Uh, no, it's good. It's, they it, just have to gel. Dallas 
has the solid potential there, right. they have to gel. Right. We're all amazed that New York is getting what they're getting without Saquon Barkley, and I still say we will continue to see that. Right. Just like I believe we will continue to see the Rams improve. I, I believe they so will. So I don't think you have to worry about the Rams. They're going I agree. to improve. I agree. But uh, I think that's where you are today, and it shows you right. where things are sitting right at this moment. Right. And most of us don't realize that. A lot of people say, this is not the Rams from last year. Of course you're not. There are players who are gone. There's different play- the <laughs> different, different players have it's, left. It's already sizing up that this year yeah. is different, way different from last year. Right. You have different teams who are the main contenders. Right. And you have different – you have a lot of impacted uh, situations by injury. And the teams that look like they're rebounding from it, the Saints, Bridgewater looks like he's doing enough to go, look, I, I can deliver. Also, New England, Buffalo is real, ain't they? Sure. Uh, yeah, but at first, everybody was going, you know, they played some patsy games. They were held to 16 points, and Buffalo was up there going, we're threatening you. Kansas City got a scare from Detroit. We understand that. So when you look at the rebound and which teams are, are striking, there's no real clear dominant team. They were talking Patriots, but Patriots just ran into Buffalo and they squeaked by. So maybe what we're seeing, Mario, is the regular season games where a lot of players didn't play in the preseason, and it takes two or three games to get their you know legs under their body. So we'll see. But outside of that, man, I was just letting you know that the uh, Dodgers um, are at it again. Now, here's my, my question, Mark. We're going go, to gonna go to Dodgers because you are a true Dodger fan. I am, Dick. And you've been following the I Blue. I am the most true. <laughs> but true. So I let am me just the set most, this thing. most true Dodger <laughs> fan. Let me just set this up. They don't make them more true than me. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's real simple. The Dodgers are a big-time success story, winning a Division Seven straight years in their division and winning two straight pennants each time going to the World Series is three the charm. Right now, are we going to be typical L.A.? Don't talk to us until you win the chip. Are we, are we going to be disappointed? No, if they Vic, make- we're going to be there to, reach, to root for the Dodgers. <laughs> you know what? See, I don't even put the camera on him. Look, I'm just saying it. Sure, we're going to root for I the wa- Dodgers. <laughs> Right, okay. I'm a, Notice I'm not going to put the camera on him. I love what you guys are doing. Getting there is it. It's a money decision. Should you throw all your money at those pitchers that you could have, but you still set record wins? The offense should hold up, but everybody knows Houston is the beast. <laughs> and so here's your third. No, they're not underwater. Third, right, right. So, so here you are going to come back. If everything goes the way it's supposed to, based on what, without any surprises, everybody's expecting that Houston will be on the, on the AL side and the Dodgers on the NL side. At that point, you're about to see how the pitching staff of the Houston Astros is a beast. But that's all I have to say. But I still got my Dodgers blue. Mario, you still choosing – the Giants? What's up? Yeah, that's my blue. <laughs> they ain't not got blue in it, man. I don't want to see no blue see panties. Okay, I'm done with sports, brother. <laughs> I, I'm not even ending that one off, man. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, we out, man. <laughs> that's it. You're out of the new, new sports. A unique urban view of sports fan base. A recurring segment of the Morning Coffee with Mario show here every Monday. Enjoy. Victor Allen's New New Sports. Remember to dress appropriately. Sports bras and jock straps. That's for everyone. We want you confused and with a rash. Be there. Yes. Yes. <laughs>